welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. I hope you're all well. So I've got a couple of um, new idea projects. Well, they're not new, new ideas. They're new to me ideas um, that I want us to work on in the next couple of days to go in uh, the ideas journal. But they involve using um, paper bags. And I thought I don't want to just suddenly start doing a project and nobody having any paper bags. Plus, I actually only had two myself um, that were very kindly donated to me by Bella. Um, so that I know, let's make some paper bags and then we'll have loads of paper bags and then we can do all of the stuff that we're going to do in the next few days. So for today's video, I am going to show you how to make a brown paper bag. Or how to make a paper bag with a groovy pattern on it. Oh, how to make a pretty paper bag. There we go. See, so we're having options. In fact, I've even got one here that's embossed. Can you see that? So there's lots of little things that we can do. Oh, even. Is it glued yet? Yay. Even little tiny paper bags. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? How cute is he? There we go. So I'm going to show you really easy method for making a paper bag now first things first for you to know i did dissect the bag okay so i've taken these lovely cute little brown paper bags that we all love i've taken two apart only and done with two at the bottom obviously but i wanted to get the dimensions because i thought you're going to want to know how big the paper is now obviously we have a difference here in the uk with our a4 size sheets to um, your letter size paper in um, the States and Canada. I'm so sorry, guys. I always feel really ignorant, never including like the rest of the world. Um, but I don't really know what paper size you use. And I think most things that tend to be done with this kind of stuff are done either in A4 or US letter size. So if you do have a different size paper, please let me know because I don't like to feel like I'm leaving people out. So what I've done is I've opened up one of these paper bags and I'm going to tell you now what the dimensions are and I think I'm even going to write it as I say it oh now look see crafter no scrap paper to write on Maybe. my family got mad about this my other half runs around and he's like there's no paper to write on in this house well no of course not it's all for crafting okay 14 and a half centimeters by 22 centimeters so obviously the 14 and a half centimeters we need to double because that's folded in half oh there's nothing like doing maths on here 29 centimeters i make that that is right isn't it yeah so that is the dimensions of the brown bag okay 29 centimeters by 22 centimeters well that's pretty much near as damage you're going to get to an A4 size sheet of paper so basically it's a centimeter <coughs> um narrower and um it's half a centimeter shorter than a standard A4 size sheet of paper so basically you don't actually have to cut anything to make this this is what I'm just trying to explain to you but you could also do it with a letter size um because I think letter size I believe is 22 something is it and then 27 almost 28 so it'd just be a little bit, you know, just a bit slightly shorter. But other than that, that works perfectly fine. So what I've done, I've got a large roll of packing paper here. Now you can get brown packing paper on a roll here in the UK in a pound shop, in the dollar stores, in anywhere like that. They, they really are cheap as chips. Um, I don't know how much we pay for these bags when we buy them online. They're all according where you're buying them from. If you like buying them ready made, great you know i don't have any issues with that i'm just thinking that it's not accessible for everybody um not everybody's able to you know just go and purchase uh craft items in bulk and really the only way to buy them at the most economical is obviously to do it in bulk so and i'll stop waffling now and i'm going to show you how to make them so what i did <laughs> i cut some of this and then spent half an hour then trying to flatten it which was it was fun but no i've cut down um some sheets and I have taken them along the same size as these sheets of paper that I've got here. Um, and, you know, they're a little bit longer, but I'm really not worried about that because I'll just work on that with the fold. So let's do a plain brown paper bag one first. And then I'm going to show you how to do one. 
useful. I don't need to show you how to do them. You'll know how to do them then with um, some of the digis that we got here. So basically all you do, this is a bit you need to pay attention now because this is really simple. All you do is you fold your paper bag over. Now it's entirely up to you where you put this fold, where you put the glue bit, okay? Um, now, some people do the glue bit, or rather the bag people, do the glue bit here on that, that fold there, look. I don't know if you can see that there. So when you fold the bag up, your fold is, is tucked neatly away in there. Um, other people do it dead in the centre and it runs down the back of the bag. That's fine. There's no right way or wrong way. It's whatever makes it more comfortable for you. I think if you're using thicker paper, personally, I would have the, the fold um, coming perhaps down here because when you're trying to fold this section here, if you've got then like a lot of thick paper, because you're going to have a, a join, aren't you? Um, where it's overlapping, it can get quite thick. So, you know, it's entirely up to you. But as I'm not using very thick paper at the moment. I'm going to have to turn that around because my head up in the camera. Um, I'm going to just do it here. Now, I'm not going to lie, this paper was not the easiest to work with because my stuff was really cheap. I should have gotten the better stuff. I've got good um, packaging paper in there. This is, um, I don't know, it's possibly recycled stuff. So my cuts may not be great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my folds and then I'm just going to slice the end then just to make it nice and neat. So you fold over one side and then you fold over another side and you leave enough to overlap. If that makes sense. There's literally nothing square about this piece of paper here. Fold that there, and then fold that over the top, and then that will glue. Simply put a piece of a bit of glue down there, then, and then you'll glue that shut. Now, when you do glue, just make sure your glue doesn't seep. So, not a lot of glue, otherwise the glue will seep out, and then you'll find that you, this bit will be stuck to that bit. So that's your one way of folding it. You need to fold it that way, or if you like a centre fold and you just like to see what you're doing, because sometimes that can be a bit tricky when you're doing it on the corner, just bring it over a third and then wrap it over again another third. And you, like I said, you're just going to leave enough so that you've got um, something to glue to. Does that make sense? You know, it doesn't need to be a huge, huge overlap. Just a little overlap there. That's enough. There we go. And you can just fold that down with your hand or use your trusty bone folder or use your ruler or whatever. So there we go. That's another way. So you can either fold it here on this edge here or you can fold it down the centre there. doesn't matter. It's entirely up to you. So that's your folding bit. Now I'm going to bring out my Blue Peter one. This is the one I started earlier because I've already glued this one. Um, oh. Goodness gracious me. See, and I wasn't keeping my eyes on it, started to stick inside. Ah, oh, yeah, all right. So, this one here is my fold and is my, my glue bit. And it's nice and dry now. So, the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold in both sides approximately two centimeters. So, I'm going to just quickly mark them so that they are the same. Um, because, you know, the symmetry is kind of quite important with this. Otherwise, your bag won't stand up and it'll be a bit lopsided. Um, I do apologise for the squeaking that you might be able to hear behind me. Um, you should know by now what that noise is. They've all woken up and they're playing. <laughs> oh, we had another one go. Um, pups I'm on about, just in case this is your first time joining us. Sorry, I have a litter of puppies. <laughs> they're in my other room. Um, and they're slowly going to their, their new homes now. Um... We had another one go the day before yesterday, so we're down to five now. Just five left, but they're no quieter. So here we go. And they grow loads. They're so big. The one we've got, he's, he's like, we laugh because we say it's like he's out of another litter. <laughs> I don't know why he's so big. 
he's massive all the others are like you know all pretty normal size and then you've got this one and he's just like really heavy really chunky here we are so just folding over those sides there we go now next thing you're going to do now is open it back up and we're now just going to flip those in so that was the one side there fold it in and then do the same this side so open it out drop that fold down and then <coughs> turn it into a w there we go so that now is your essence of your paper bag starting to look familiar so now we just need to work on the bottom okay so looking at the bottom of the bag now we need to make two folds so as you can see with the original here there's a fold there and there's a fold there but there's also a fold there and i'm going to show you what that fold is for now so we need to fold up once fold him over again and then fold that in half because that will help you when it comes to folding up the base <coughs> so now when you open your bag take it back to the second fold and then you just wriggle out your creases because obviously all of the folds are already put into the paper um, the side folds and the horizontal ones the verticals and the horizontals i should say goodness i hope you understand how i'm explaining this here there we are so see what i've done there i've just pushed down inside now and i've just made sure that those triangles are nice and tidy then turning my bag sideways i am now going to fold as neat as i can get out there that last side come on and I'm going to fold up there and down there. And then the same this side. So, so I will now literally... Oop, if I can pick it up. Put fingers and thumbs, yeah. Fold that down there now like that. And then we will have our bag. And you simply... the bottom yeah so let that dry for a second so obviously there are merits to um you taking quite a large section at the bottom so that you can have this nice deep um what are we going to call it a v i don't know when you fold but if you want more in your bag then obviously you don't want that to, you don't want to be using too much of the paper in that initial fold there okay okay so that's the brown paper bag let's try and do it with um try and do it with a jiggy a jiggy a jiggy a digi even right so this is one of our new digitals from our new kit our vintage tear papers which i thought would be quite a good um, design to have on a groovy paper bag. So I'm just going to glue down my edge here.
There we go. There is a very groovy. I love this page. Look at that. I wish I could that to dry, but no. There we are. And the nice thing about doing it like this is if you do it on the back of the paper as well with something quite cool, you've got um, an interest in inside as well. I only thing I haven't done is I didn't stick that in properly, so just bear that in mind when you're sticking your fold, make sure you stick it down properly. But there is another very cute paper bag. So I'm going to just try one more. Let's do this one, I think. So this is a beautiful page from our uh, vintage pink kit that's about to be released. So I'm going to give her an earring today and we'll see how she does. Now I'm going to try this one with the fold. Um in the middle because I found that quite hard to fold that one then. Obviously my printing paper is thicker than the brown paper. So here we have all our bra bags, our brags, our bags. So here we have all our bags, all ready to be used. Different projects. Can't promise that they're gonna stay as bags, but you can obviously do your rectangle shape any size, as you can see with our little one there, it was quite successful. Um, I embossed this one here. Um, I'm not quite sure how how good that will be when it'll stay together well. And then this one, of course, again, I love. This is also another piece from our um, from our new kit. So we've got some really pretty bags here now. And we're going to play with these tomorrow. So guys, go and make yourself some bags. If you have some of these already and you can cheat, then obviously you won't get to worry. But it's nice to make them some different patterns, isn't it? So if you're working with a certain journal or a kit, you can now go and make a paper bag with that kit. I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. I hope you find it helpful. If you do have any questions or queries or anything that you'd like a tutorial done on in the future, don't be afraid to put it in the comments below. Um, or if you just want to say hi, that's great too. Um, and I will be back with you with another video very soon. Take care now. Bye.